doing guys so uh, Lane here and I just uh, want to make a quick video here something I meant to do a long time ago I just haven't got around to it so I've watched a lot of stuff kind of lately on vehicle tactics shooting from a vehicle I do quite a bit of shooting from a vehicle uh, myself just as part of training to keep it interesting and try to keep it practical a little bit and so one thing that I've noticed is pretty much every vehicle um, shooting video I've seen when guys go to draw within the vehicle regardless of what position they're in typically um, they keep that same very fast, very violent draw stroke and garment clearance and try to get their weapon on target as fast as possible. Now, that's a, a good way to do things in a lot of senses. If you're already engaged, um, for example, if a guy is trying to, I don't know, carjack you, rob you, road rage incident, um, something like that, or if you're a law enforcement officer, or if you are rolling up to a scene where you know that shit's going down and so you're going to have to jump right in, that's a perfectly viable tactic but one place where I think that really fails is to add the actual tactical element now I, I pretty much hate the word tactical because I think it's misused by everybody tactical is not the pants that you wear it's not any of the gear that you carry tactical the definition is of or relating to tactics so where are your tactics within that so if we take a situation where I'm not actually engaged and I'm not purposely going right into an engagement here uh, like a law enforcement or military guy might uh, for example, if a guy is approaching a car, he's attempted to kidnap, to rob, to carjack, it's a road rage incident, things that you see all the time uh, on TV, uh, I want to use um, a little bit of concealment. I want to use my vehicle to help me out. So uh, if you notice, I'll show you a couple clips here. If I go to that really violent draw stroke, uh, it's very obvious that I'm doing something, and if that guy is prepared to hurt me or to open fire on me or something, and he sees these really violent, aggressive movements, it's probably going to set off his predatory instinct on that. Okay, so uh, you've seen a couple demonstrations of me trying to get my muzzle on target, get rounds on target as fast as possible, and it's pretty quick. Um, but it's very obvious that I'm doing something. Maybe not that I'm drawing a weapon necessarily, but uh, it looks suspicious. So now I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when I'm using my dash, when I'm using my door for cover. Uh, so I'm always keeping that muzzle disciplined. I'm going to bring that thing nice and low right here under the dash, under the door, uh, and leave that as an option to be able to kind of uh, set my opponent, my adversary, my enemy, kind of put him at ease a little bit, appear submissive, appear receptive, and to be doing what he wants, and then uh, I can spring on him when I want. It's going to look like this right here, guys. Whoa, yep, hey, buddy, yep, no problem. Getting out right now, getting out right now, no problem. Whoa, easy, bud, yep, get out, no problem, no problem, getting out. So as you can see in those clips, um, you know, kind of hard, especially in a truck, I'm sitting up a little higher, kind of hard to detect that I might be doing something. For all he knows, maybe I'm just really nervous. I'm fidgeting with my seatbelt, not able to get out, um, and probably going to allow me a decent chance to get that weapon presented um, and have the upper hand uh, slightly in an engagement. So check this out. Uh, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think, guys. Remember, just another tool in the toolbox uh, for you guys to use. Now, remember, only the hits count, and you can never miss fast enough to catch back up.